There are two keywords now we used to have until 2.7, actually Python 2.7. Those two, two keywords are the print and the execute, right? So exec, okay, EXEC. So these are actually uh, taken as the <coughs> okay, now I can piece on the screen with Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, now, sir. so these, these two, uh, yeah, these two keywords that is a print and execute. Uh, also used to be the list of the keywords actually until python 2.7 but uh, from python 3.0 from 2008 actually uh, these uh, two has been removed from the keywords list so the name depreciate no longer use and matter right <laughs> did you get my point these two keywords print and execute used to be keywords but now they are, they have been taken away from that list from the keywords right okay sir okay very good okay then next comes the concept called as the indentation okay so indentation is nothing but white spaces right so white spaces at the beginning of the line is called indentation and that means when you're typing something on the screen okay so from beginning you call it as an indentation so indentation is a very important concept in python actually so in c or c plus plus or java or whatever it is if i want to start a block actually what you do you just start the braces and you write whatever you want to write and then you close it right no no indentation no sir okay very good okay so yeah yeah, in C language, what we do actually, if I want to start a block or if I want to write a definition for the function, what you do, you just start a block by starting the braces and type whatever you want to type and then you close it, right? That is the, what you do, right? Well, yes, sir. Okay, let me show this. Uh, a sec. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Nana. So here you can see that, right? So I have taken two variables, so five, five, one, six, and I just opened this C compiler. Wherein I declared the two variables A and B. A has got five, and B has got six, right? And we are checking this A greater than B, okay? And if that is true, we are just printing A is big, right? And if that is false, we are just printing B is big, right? Everyone? <clears throat> okay, so here actually, what do you mean by indentation? Actually, if this, if this condition is true, we just opened the braces over here and you're just writing printf statement over here, right? And if you see, there is, a, there is some gap we just left here, actually. Print a front and some gap in here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, your voice is breaking, sir. Okay, one second, Anna. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, very good. So you, you can look at here something like this. So in this C program, what we have done is so in inside if block actually so we have started typing that printf statement by leaving some spaces there right we didn't start from the beginning i didn't start from here actually i didn't start from here actually i just kept the space spaces over there then i started writing printf right 
even in this else block also yes, so i just started yes, writing this printf statement just by leaving something some spaces before writing that right so this particular thing is actually known as the indentation you get my point indentation is nothing but leaving some spaces right okay what's the use of indentation actually the use of the indentation is actually we are saying that this particular printf is a part of statement similarly the this particular second printf is a part of the else block right since i want to say that this is a part of this or sub of this i am using this indentation right <laughs> and similarly the first print of statement belongs to the if block so that's why i started this open braces then print of statement then closing braces this open braces and closing braces will define you the block right are you there ma can you hear me yes sir yes sir yes. uh. Okay, so yeah, so in C language, uh, open braces and some set of statements, then a closing brace that constitutes or that gives you a block, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, so that's the thing. Actually, we used to use in C, C plus plus Java, like in any uh, any of these three languages, like C, C plus plus Java, we use braces to represent a particular block. But what is there in this Python is actually we don't use blocks in Python, right? We don't use blocks in Python. Did you get my point? We don't yes. have the block yes. system over here. <laughs> yeah, instead of blocks, what we have is okay, we use this indentation actually. Okay, so see here actually. Can you see my Python uh, window? Are you able to yes. see what yes. I yes. Okay, very good. So look here. I'm just uh, declared my a name a equals to say no a string, and here I'm just printing that print a, right? Did you see? Yes, sir. Okay. So let's let's observe this. Actually, what I'm doing here is so a equals to say no, and below that print a. That print statement is actually I'm not writing exact below the A, just putting some spaces over there and writing print statement. Did you see that? Yes, okay, now I'll just now I'll just click on this run button, and you can see that. What you can see, ma? Indentation error. Indentation error. Yeah, you you got an error called indentation error. Unexpected yes. indent. What do you mean by unexpected indent? Is actually here there is no need of the block over here. Actually, you just uh, type the block over here, and it's saying that we don't need that indentation, and you uh, you have given some indentation there. That means what is the meaning of writing some spaces then print statement? Is that this print a is a sub part of a equals to c no right? Like the one that we saw in C language. If I want to start a block, I just give some spaces, then I start. That says that this that is a sub block of that. But here actually we don't have that kind of a thing, right? We didn't use any if statement or loops whatsoever. So there is no need to give the indentation. And if I try to give this indentation, that means a spaces that gives me an error, right? Did you get my point, ma? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So remember that unexpected or unintentional spaces will give you these errors actually. So you give the spaces only when they are needed. When do you need them actually? When I want to put something, which is a subset of something. In that case, I have to give the spaces. Something like this. For example, I got this A, right? And I'm giving this value. 20 and I got B and I'm giving this value 10, right? Then I'm writing this if A greater than B, 
then a colon, right? Then I have to write this one, right? A space over here. Then I have to write a is baking. Did you see this? <clears throat> because that is a sub part of that. The if so, I have given a single space over here. If I forgot to give this space, okay. I'm getting indentation error. You can see here, right? Expected an indented block. That means if ki exact ka kinnna ka dono raayal sindi, if no, the sub form in chali na na, if print ni, or the space che raayal na, right? Because print is a part of a if condition, right? Yes, so this is called indentation mark. Right? We don't use these things. The Python man, we like a brace, like a water man, like this. The water man, man, just another Python log of block layer create challenge. Brace is like a layer. The rest of that man, main just another man. Just another space is there. ब्लाकोस्टेट Is that clear? Okay, very good. Yes, sir. Okay, so please, someone, yes, please read it out. Someone, is it clear? Can you read it for me? जस्टिंग पिछि पिछि वेव्स लगे होते हैं कंप्लीट नहीं है गेट अलग यस सर यस ओके व्हाट अबाउट दिस रेड कलर लगे होते हैं कंप्लीट सुना ना ना यस सर ओके इस डैट इस गेटिंग रिमूव नाउ Everything. Did they clear everything? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. okay. Actually, I bought a, a new laptop. Actually, it's like a Lenovo Flex Five. It's like a touch screen laptop. They have given me some stylus pen kind of a thing. I'm just so working on it, right? Okay. So yeah, it's clear now. Now you people can read it. Right? So indentation or white spaces. So what does it actually say? Is that Python do not use parentheses or braces to indicate the blocks of code like class or functions or flow of control. Right? Is that clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. And uh, instead of it uses indentation to form a block or define a scope in the code. So these indentations are very important in Python. 
you get my point so if i want to start a block if i want to write something as a block or something i you have to use this indentation right and all the statements inside a block should be at the same indentation level for example if my block contains five statements i should start those five statements at the same place right is it clear okay so see here there is a, some example over here whatever i just uh, shown you so it's just there so yeah a equals to 7 and i just uh, compare that if a is less than 100 i just written it as a print a is less than 100 and it has given me some error what's the problem over here What's the problem here in this example, Ma? Not on green color side, right? it's on white. What's the problem? Space. Uh... Semicolon. It's not semicolon, Ma. It's like exactly if kind of print it as an odd top of the if you look part of the print. Yes, sir. Okay, now if you look print part of the page, you can see the space is less print. than 100. So, that's it. And the correct code is green color, right? The green color. So, the green color is less than 100. Then, space is less than 100. Print A is less than 100. And that's the correct code, right? Yes, sir. Okay, now. Okay, very good. So next comes the concept of the operators, right? So operators, operators are used to manipulate the values of the operands, and operators are used to perform operations on variables and values. You know this, right? And these are the operators of Python, right? So there are eight operators like this, okay? Bitwise operators, identity operators, unary operators, logical operators, assignment operators, comparison operator, operators, and membership operators. Right? There are eight operators, right? So what are the things that you have seen in C is actually we saw that bitwise operators in C, right? And we saw that unary operator, we saw the logical operators, we saw the assignment operators, we saw the arithmetic operators also, right? And this comparison, no, this comparison are nothing but relational operators in C, like less than, greater than, greater than, or equals to less than, or equals to, equals to not equals. Those are actually given the new name that is comparison. So in our C terms, actually we call them as a relational operators, right? And there are some new operators on this, that is a membership operators and identity operators, right? Yes, sir. So logical yeah. operators are logical and the logical are a logical node, right? Okay, so yeah. assignment means a simple assignment and compound assignment that is equals to or you can call them as inline operators, okay? Which are actually plus equals to minus equals to star equals to slash equals to you know that right. What is the meaning of a plus equals to? A plus equals to an equal to the same A plus equals to an equal to the same What does A it mean? A equal to. So this means A is equal to A plus B. If there is the same variable on a left hand side and right hand side, you just bring that plus before the equals to, right? Okay. Yes, no, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So that's it. Huh? Those, are, those are the operators. Okay. Okay. So what are the new operators actually? Membership operators and as well as the identity operators, right? Yes. Okay. Sir. So can anyone tell me those eight names, please? Someone. I think Chadwe some try part ki. Chappani na na.
Okay, coming to this addition, uh, arithmetic operations. Okay, so arithmetic operators means uh, you know these things: addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus, division, right? And what are the two new operators that we have seen is actually exponentiation and as well as the flow division, right? Exponentiation is a star star, and flow division is a slash slash. <coughs> and we have seen all these things and we have uh, seen so many examples on this also right did i show you yes sir yes sir yeah very good very good Anna. so yeah this is the thing okay and uh, i put some uh, and the uh, slides for this okay so i have taken a as a 30 and b as a 20 right and I'm just printing all the values a plus b equals to what is that and a minus b what is that star slash and then what are those flow division and modulus division and exponentiation right you want to see this on this execution or something even a plus b a minus b Yes, sir. This is the minus 30 minus 20, 10, obviously, a star b, 600, right? 30 by 20, 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. Okay, 30 flow division with 20. 1. 1. 1. Obviously, one, right? Okay, 30 mod B. 10. Obviously, 10. 30 long, 10, 20, which one time point the remainder 10, right? Yes, sir. And, yes. And yes, sir. 30 to the, okay. If you want to see that, uh, what is the value of 30 to the power of 20? That's, that is a value. 30 to the power of 20. And the value on the screen the right side block, red color block. Yes, sir. So that is nothing but 30 to the power of 20. And we don't need that actually, right? And see here actually, this is called the comparison operators. And you know these things, comparison. What do you mean by comparison? The relational operators we saw in C language. What is that equals to, not equals to, less than, greater than, greater than or equals to, less than or equals to. All these are called comparison operators, right? Or you can call them as relational operators, right? And you have taken 10 and 20. First, the 10 equals to 20. True or false? False. False. 10 and not equals to 20. True. 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 You know, obviously. 10 less than or equals to 20. True. True, sir. Obviously. 10 greater than or equals to 20. 10 greater than or equals to 20. False. False, sir. No, no. A and B, I can hear only three to four people voice. What about the remaining people? Are you people are there? Everyone? No, no, no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I can hear only three to four voices. What about remaining people? Okay, tell me this 10 greater than 20. False. 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 10 less than 20. 10 less than 20. Close, close, close. Obviously, true, right? Okay, that's a true.
Okay. Yes, sir. So that, that's it now. Okay. So coming to the next one. This is called the assignment operator or equals to. Okay. So what is this actual assignment operator? Whatever the value on the right hand side of the equals to is given to the variable on the left hand side. So 10 is given to A, 20 is given to B, and you're just printing a 10 and 20, right? And later you're just giving B value to A. What is the B value here? 20. 20, 20 sir. 20, and you're, yeah, and you're giving that to 20 to A also, right? So A is 20 and B is 20. So in the second line output, you, you can see that there are 20, 20, right? So that means you can give a sign of one value of the value of one variable to another variable. That's what I want to say, right? You can directly assign a value or you can give the value of one variable to another variable, right? Yes, sir. Is that clear? Yeah. Yes, okay, sir. Very good. And, and here comes the compound assignment operator. In Python, you call it as in place operator, right? Whatever we are just uh, talking about, that is uh, when you're having a variable on the left hand side and as well as on the right hand side, obviously. So, what you do? So, if I'm having something like this, okay. Okay, when I'm having this, Sir, Mali Adagan, sir, a Madigaro. A Madigama plus equals to an Epudras Tamana plus equals to an A plus equals to B and a Rasta than Adamantum. A plus B. A plus B equal to A. A plus B equal to A plus B. Yeah, A is equals to A plus B. And then, you plus and this coach equal to Kimundurasi, A and this is right? Yes. Are they the Kadona? The other than Gurin Chairman Martha, than Gurin Chicken Martha, A plus equals to B is the same as A equals to A plus B, right? So what is this? This adds the operands on the left and right side of the operator and assigns the result to the operand on the left hand side. Allah is similarly you can write it as a minus equals to, right? A is equals to a minus b and count a. Ona Allah is star equals to a is equals to a star b and count a. Allah is slash equal to one a is equals to a slash b and count a, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes sir. Okay, very good. You can apply it for all the operators and all arithmetic operators like a modulus operator. Modulus equals to A is equals to A mod B. Alage flow division equals to A is equals to A flow division B. Right? Yes, sir. So, alage shift operations could ask you and alage exponentiation operation could ask you. Star star equals to an good ask coach. A is equals to A star star B and again Kunte. Now, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Silo Ite Amen. We call it as a Chipperney. Amen. Silo Ite the name. Compound assignment. Compound assignment operator, sir. Yes, sir. Compound assignment operator. Very good. 
Okay, so for example, if I have got something like this, and I got a value called a is equals to a equals to a plus b, so I can write it as a print a. Understand? Can this one be the output? Meko. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So twenty plus ten is. 20 plus 10 is actually 30 so ila unnada nen em cheyochina na i can remove these things and i can put a plus before the equals to like this right yes sir and now if i run this i can i'll get the same output 30 only right yes sir సో అది సంగతి నన్న వచ్చేసి రైట్ సో అంటే అర్థం ఏంటది యాక్చువల్ గా సో నాకు సేమ్ వేరియబుల్ కనుక ఉంటే లైక్ దాట్ ఓకే సో అలాగే వచ్చేసి హియర్ యూ క్యాన్ రైట్ సంథింగ్ లైక్ మైనస్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు ఆన్సర్ ఏమొస్తుంది నన్న టెన్ టెన్ యా ఆబ్వియస్లీ టెన్ వస్తుంది టెన్ రైట్ i can write this one what is that Start. modulus operator okay modulus operator what is the value for this ten quick ten sir ten chamba da zero sir zero modulus same x sir modulus same x sir na ఎన్ని టైమ్స్ పోయినా ఇస్తుందా ఎంత మిగిలిన ఇస్తుందా రిమైండర్ కదా ఇచ్చేది జీరో సార్ వెరీ గుడ్ నాన్న ట్వంటీ మోడల్ టెన్ ఈజ్ టూ టైమ్స్ పోయింది రిమైండర్ ఈజ్ జీరో ఆబ్వియస్లీ రైట్ స్లాష్ పెట్టాను స్లాష్ పెట్టాను ఎప్పుడు స్లాష్ పెడితే వన్ Obviously, two, na, na, right? Okay, na. Okay, na. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, see here, I have taken 15 over here. 15. You can do it, na. Okay, na. వెరీ గుడ్ సో దెన్ ఐ గాట్ దిస్ వన్ What is it? 1 to the power of 15 and you want to get the value? Obviously no. So that is the value. 20 to the power of 15, right? Yes, sir. Okay, very okay, good. Anna. So, and you know this, right? Um, this one. ఈ ఆపరేటర్ తెలుసా నాన్న మీకు వాట్ డస్ ఇట్ మీన్ మీకు అర్థమయ్యే భాషలో రాస్తాను చూడండి ఏ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్స్ టు ఏ దిస్ వన్ అండ్ వన్ వాట్ డస్ ఇట్ మీన్ చెప్పండి సింపుల్ ఆపరేటర్ లెఫ్ట్ షిఫ్ట్ ఆపరేటర్ నాన్న ఏని వన్ టైమ్ లెఫ్ట్ షిఫ్ట్ చెయ్యి అని అర్థం అది టూ గ్రీన్ లెస్ దాన్ సింబల్స్ అంటే లెఫ్ట్ షిఫ్ట్ రైట్ ఒక వాల్యూని లెఫ్ట్ షిఫ్ట్ చేస్తే ఏమవుతుంది దాని వాల్యూ సి లో ఉన్నాయక డబుల్ అవుతుంది నాన్న 
మాట్లాడండి తెలీదా మీకు చూడండి ఫార్టీ అయింది నాన్న తెలుసా మీకు అదే ఒక వాల్యూని రైట్ షిఫ్ట్ చేస్తే హాఫ్ అవుతుంది ఇదిగో టూ గ్రేటర్ టెన్ రైట్ టూ టైమ్స్ రైట్ షిఫ్ట్ చేస్తే ఏమవుతుంది రైట్ షిఫ్ట్ అన్నా రైట్ షిఫ్ట్ అంటే హాఫ్ అవటం కదా ఒకసారి చేస్తే టెన్ అయింది ఇంకోసారి చేస్తే ఫైవ్ అయింది బెటర్ ఇట్స్ లైక్ వెర్ రన్నింగ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ద టైమ్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ నాన్నా